When we're dealing with a pressure gauge, we already talked about it. You want to select a range uh, with full scale pressure range of approximately twice the normal operating pressure. But here's another note, and I get comments on this from customers. The maximum operating pressure should not exceed 75% of the full scale range. Failure to select the pressure gauge with these certain criteria may result in fatigue of the board on tube. I have people call me and say, well, what, if your gauges can't operate more than 75% of the range? No, they can operate at more than 75% of the range, but not all, all, day, all, all day long. What I mean by this, if you take something that has a curve to it and you bend it out almost to its extreme and you leave it there, when you eventually take the pressure off, what happens? Yeah, it, it might come back, but probably not all the way. Because fatigue has now built in. So that's what it's saying. Think about the shape of the board on the tube. If it's going up and down all day long, 100%, that's okay. Because it's not being held out there. But if it's held out to over 75% of the scale for long periods of time, it comes back and you look and, oh, it's sitting. <coughs> so anyway... That's what that 75% means. So if anybody ever questions that on you and says, hey, how come winter's gauge is going to only operate at 75%? You don't want anybody's gauge, if it's a board on tube, to operate greater than 75 for extended periods. 